right now we're talking uh, probably a couple thousand people here. We'll go back up to that Air 11 shot to give you a sense of the scope here. And what is happening, even though this protest has begun in Foley Square, it is now moving in parts toward the district attorney's office. A lot going on here. Now, earlier, uh, probably about uh, half an hour ago, Gwen Carr, the mother of Eric Garner, who was killed in police custody in 2014 here in New York City, she spoke to this crowd. Here is the message that she had to say in the wake of all of what's going on. Enough is enough. They have to stop coming into our neighborhoods and brutalizing, terrorizing, and murdering our young men and women. And then they don't do enough. They seen on camera, like with my son, it was outright murder. And you can see the crowd live is moving north toward the district attorney's office, which is a couple of blocks north of Foley Square. But what we, what we can say is since noon today, there have been ongoing protests in and around Foley Square, and they got heated. And in fact, there were some arrests. Here's more details about what's been going on all afternoon. <laughs> Police made at least a half dozen arrests during demonstrations this afternoon in Lower Manhattan. Protesters started to gather in Foley Square around noon. After hours of speeches, they decided around 3.30 to march no justice, no peace. to one police plaza, the headquarters of the NYPD. After demonstrating there, they headed to the district attorney's office and the city courts. Police told them to stay out of the street. That's when things got heated. <laughs> Demonstrators said they were following orders. Trying to run us over and kill us in the middle of the street for having a peaceful protest. They, they locking people up, five, six officers for one person in a peaceful protest. We just trying to have our voices be heard. So if they want to stop us when we're doing what we have the right to do, we will keep on going. And if there's a problem, then they can come talk to me about it personally and we can come find some common ground with the law enforcement. But they're not trying to find common ground. The NYPD has said it's trying to prevent a situation like protests yesterday. Our goal was to just take the troublemakers out of a group. The NYPD chief of department was on the PIX11 morning news today. He said the 72 arrests made at Lower Manhattan demonstrations yesterday were of people who attacked and injured cops, among other crimes. One of our cops had a garbage can thrown at him. He suffered a concussion. Another one of our sergeants, uh, he was thrown to the ground. He suffered a con concussion. A deputy inspector had his shoulders and back injured when he was thrown to the ground. We also had another inspector punched in the face, but it was all right. And we also had uh, someone who attempted to take a gun away from one of our captains. The chief said he and the department support nonviolent protesters. In Min Minneapolis, Minnesota, a cop who's basically caused 800,000 law enforcement officers across this country they have to pay the price for his actions. And you know what? Just coming up right now, Jumani Williams, the public advocate for New York City. Really quick, sir, talk about what you're seeing here. We have thousands of people. Talk about this message, if you would. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of energy here, and we have to understand why. People are tired and people are, are fed up across this country. But here in New York City, we have people who say that they're progressive, they say that they're leaders, and we need to see action. We can't just see words. And it's hard. I want people to understand they're dealing with the uh, disproportionate impacts of coronavirus. They're dealing with the loss of jobs. Then you have to see Ahmed Aubrey. You have to see Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. All of these things are heavy on communities' minds. Now, you get the last word. How strongly do you feel that show, showings like this can cause change here in New York and across the country? People don't want to admit this, but showing like this is the only thing that's ever caused the change that we want to see. Anything that we try to celebrate in this country uh, in terms of moving forward is because of showings like this. We appreciate your time, sir. Jumani Williams, thank you.